is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. I only talk to you guys once a week, so to catch you up to speed, we had a pretty gnarly cold front come through, cold front down here. Um, it's about 65 degrees. Came through, wind blew like crazy out of the south, and then switched around and blew from the north, and pretty much what that means for a, uh, a diver is all the water everywhere is gonna be dirty. So I had to cancel a few charters, um, and not having a lot of time off, I've been kind of taking advantage of those days off, getting paperwork done, emails, um, just all the busy stuff I don't wanna do as a fisherman, but I have to do to keep the business running. And, oh, I also got, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, I got dibs on bottom. The charter shirts are up uh, online for purchase. I'll put a link in the description for that if you guys are interested in getting any of those. I don't have any Key West Waterman stuff yet, but I'm working on that. Maybe you guys can send me ideas of what you would want the Key West Waterman merchandise to look like. Anyways, um, I've been kind of landlocked for two days. Water got real dirty, canceled some trips. Uh, and it's about lunchtime, and I, I kind of just took a break from the office, and I came to kind of look outside and... Not that I take it for granted, but after you live here for a certain amount of time, you kind of forget what you're actually surrounded by. And the water just looks beautiful today, uh, which is kind of weird because everything out on the reef and on the Gulf side is pretty dirty. But I'm looking at my canal and it looks gorgeous. Got a couple of snapper carcasses in there if you're wondering what those are from two or three days ago. Normally the sharks get them, but they didn't. But um, I've never really snorkeled down my canal or, or down past the boat ramp or anything like that. So I think I'm going to put my dive gear on and go for a swim, maybe bring a spear gun, see if I can find something for lunch. And I figured I would bring you guys along with me. So I'll see you downstairs. We'll get suited up and rock and roll. Something else that I wanted to mention real quick. Um, Will surprised me with these. I think they're pretty cool. He made some Key West Waterman decals. Um, kind of an inside joke, banana leaf from the very first episode we ever made. Long story short, Will stole a banana leaf. It ended up being a hysterical situation, but he got these made and they kind of just look like nothing unless you look carefully at it. You can see there's a KWW etched into the fingers of the leaf, which I think is awesome. I consider myself not really a, a flashy kind of guy. So it's kind of a subtle sticker. It doesn't have the name, but I think that's really cool. Um, so if you buy a dibs on bottom shirt, I will throw some Key West Waterman stickers in there. And whenever I get some Key West Waterman merch made, I'll give those stickers away too with those shirts. But um, I'm gonna hop in, we're gonna bring I'm gonna bring this little gun. Someone's actually, or several people have actually asked about the specs on this. Um, kind of a little dirty water, shallow gun. I'm gonna get my wetsuit and stuff on, but to answer that question, I'll run you down this real quick. Uh, 36 inches mid handle. I essentially, or initially made this gun for Central Florida uh, where I grew up hunting very, very dirty water. Um, Cause you can kind of just swim around like this with it under your arm. Um, it's very effective when you can't see very far. It has a 40 inch, 40 inch um, 516 shafts, two 5.8 bands. Uh, this is all Neptonics hardware. This is the very first gun I actually built years and years and years ago, probably God, maybe 10, 12 years ago. Um, reef mech from Neptonics, push rod, all the hardware, the handle, everything pretty much is from Neptonics. So um, I'm gonna get suited up and stop talking. We're gonna get in the water.
any better. Well that actually went a lot better than I had planned. I assume I'd see something but it made it pretty easy. Before I rinse everything off I'm gonna gut these. These are mangrove snappers. Kind of what I figured I would see. It wasn't positive, but I had a feeling that would be my typical suspect. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna cook these whole. So what I'm gonna do, oh, look who it is. I'm gonna gut them. I brain and bled them both. One of them I actually stoned. That, that little gun's so fun, so fun to hip fire. I'm not gonna show you the whole process here, but I'm just gonna gut them. Um, probably leave the gills in, it's not a big deal on these little ones, I don't think. I'm gonna gut them and scale them. I haven't decided. I may fry them whole or I may bake them. I have not decided yet. And I'm sure there's a safer way to do this than with a fillet knife, but... Try to get as many as possible. A scale won't kill you, but... I prefer to not eat them if I can help it. Too bad. <whistles> Gorgeous day. Dive gears rinsed and hung up. Got the fish cleaned. I actually ended up pulling the gills out. I don't know why. I feel like if Will was here, he would be mad at me. Um, for not pulling it out so i did end up pulling the gills out just to give you a little reference uh, i measured these guys this is a 13 inch snapper 14 inch mangrove um, we have quite a different variety of regulations down here we have four separate regulations you have to go by but for the most part mangroves are 10 or 12. i don't shoot them under 12 regardless but um, what i'm doing i'm just gonna uh, fry these whole will did this a couple weeks or months ago my conception of time can be off sometimes i can't remember when it was but he fried them whole and i've Really big fan of the skin being on, so show you. Hopefully, you can see. Really overestimated the amount of flour I needed, but all I did was scaled, gutted, took the gills out, and did some slits on each side. Um, all this is is all purpose flour and some salt and pepper. Just giving it a little flour bath here. I'm going off of memory, so if I screw this up, Will, I do apologize. If it's messed up, it's my recipe. If it's good, it's Will's. Get a little flour in the fillets there. But I was I was really, really thrilled with how um, it turned out with the skin on. I've eaten fish with skin on before, but I don't know that I've fried fish with skin on before, so. That is all I've got right there. I rinse my hands. And if I remember, if I remember correctly, Will went from temperature, or went by temperature by dipping the fish in there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Excuse my lousy camera, excuse my lousy camera work here. Um, I can't remember, I wanna say he was on a medium low heat. He's, You want a slow sizzle, not too much. And again, I'm operating off memory. I think he said if, if you put it in there and it's a roaring sizzle, it's gonna burn. And this takes a little while because it's a whole fish, so. 
That sounds about right. And I'm on number two. So low to medium low. I'm um, gonna let them rock and roll. Again, flour, salt, pepper, and I'll let you know when they're done. So truth be told, I brought the heat up just a smidge. I've got um, all the windows and doors are open, so there's some air moving through here. You may have to fluctuate this a little bit, but it sounds about, about where I want it. Kind of get, make sure everybody gets down in the oil. may need to close the doors and windows for this. Sounds like it's doing the right thing though. Not too bad, looking all right. Kind of a mission to flip them, so I had to put the camera down, but. If I had to guess it looks done. Um. Perfect. So I kind of screwed up the skin. I feel like I remember the skin being. <laughs> well, I remember the skin still being on there. First off, Will, you need to come home. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Looks okay. Gonna enjoy this outside. So I'm going simple. Not gonna top it with anything, just a little squeeze of lemon. Oh gosh. Lemon explosion. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the skin. That's right, nice and crunchy. It's thick. Ooh, hunk of meat. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's hard to beat. The skin is like, like a thick, moist potato chip. Crunchy. Wow. That's incredible. Well, that's all I got. Thanks so much for joining me joining me on my lunch break. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Not nearly as much action, but maybe a little insight on what it uh, what it's like to live in paradise. Couldn't be more grateful to live here. It really is an unbelievable place. Sometimes I have to pinch myself and get so caught up in working. But thanks for coming along. Friendly reminder: Mondays ep Mondays new episode 6 p.m. every Monday. Um, send me ideas. Like if you have not already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.